Okay, so I was up at 3am last night thinking about the biology of mermaids, as one does, and I decided that they're fish. Okay, so hear me out, I spent a lot of 3am energy thinking about this. So my thoughts is that they are fish, but they're kind of in the area, same area of fish as coelacanth and lungfish, so they're in the, um, you see this red circle, they're around that area of the vertebrate phylogeny. So, kind of the evolutionary relationship is tetrapods, which is like, um, mammals, birds, reptiles, all that, and then there's sarcopterygii, which are lobe-finned fishes, like the coelacanth and lungfish. So, what I would put mermaids is sarcopterygii split off, and then tetrapods split off, but what I would guess is that mermaids and tetrapods shared a common ancestor that's similar to a lobe-finned fish after the sarcopterygii split off. So, there would be, instead of having sarcopterygii tetrapods, it'd be tetrapods, mermaids, and then sarcopterygii. See here in this diagram of a coelacanth, there's like in the red circle I circled, the pectoral fins, how they kind of have bones in them, so they're almost limbs. So I put that as mermaids. Those, instead of going into land limbs or staying as fins, they would evolve into kind of arms or seal-like flippers in the mermaids. Because in the lobe-finned fishes like this, the fins right here, the pectoral fins, they're almost like um, limbs anyway. They're kind of transitioning into limbs. So I put mermaids having limbs like that, where they go from the lobe fins to arms and hands or seal flippers. Also, if they are fish, it makes way more sense for the tails to go like this, like a tuna, instead of like this, like a dolphin. So I propose that mermaids have basically the red line down of a tuna fish. And then from about here down is tuna, here up it'd be the rest of the mermaid. And as the pectoral girdle, instead of having the pectoral fins, it would have arms and then head. And the head looks like that through either mimicry or convergent evolution. I would go more convergent evolution because there wouldn't, in my mind, be very much evolutionary advantage to looking like a human, and then it just happened that way, convergently. And my hypothesis for the hair, because why would they have, like, human hair? That's dumb, we don't need that. Is that their sensory whiskers, like on the catfish. So, the hair, instead of being hair, it's sensory, and so then their eyes wouldn't be very useful. They're, they're just kind of small vestigial eyes, and they mostly use the barbels for sensory, like a catfish. So yeah, 3am mermaid thoughts.